And so Metal Gear Month is over, and this is the final video. So I asked you guys what you think the number one worst Metal Gear game of all time was, keeping in mind that I disqualified Survive from even being on my list, because I don't want to give that game any acknowledgement of being a Metal Gear game at all, so it's not on my list. But despite that, some of you in the comments still think it's Survive. What, did you not listen to my videos? Were you too busy with your hand on your dick on E621, and you just went on a con? coma while I was saying it's not survive? Jeez. Or maybe you didn't watch all the way through. My analytics tell me that 90% of you don't. What do I have to do for you people? I'm better than Scott the Waz. I mean, yeah, he has a high budget, a video crew, a TV deal. He's not fat. He's not ugly. He doesn't have a stupid accent. Okay, I'm not better than Scott the Waz. The point is, if I get your view, then I need to keep your attention and apparently I'm not doing that. You've already clicked off the video, haven't you? Well, fuck you. The video's over. Okay, the video's not over. Anyway, before I show you the worst Metal Gear game of all time, here's the games you told me you thought it was. Metal Gear Solid Touch on the iPhone. This is a game based on MGS4 where you touch areas so Snake can shoot at enemies, and that's it. You just do wave after wave of that. I didn't pick this one because there's currently no way to play it, even with emulation, and I felt it was too easy to pick on this game. It was clearly just made as a quick cash grab for people who wanted Metal Gear fun on the go, while MGS Mobile which I previously reviewed was a genuine effort to make a legit Metal Gear game on mobile phones. So long story short, with no way to play this and it being an easy target, I disqualified it. Some of you also said number one is gonna be Metal Gear Rising. To that I say, why? Metal Gear Rising is fucking awesome. What the hell are you smoking? It probably holds a distinction of being the most memed of all the Metal Gears because of its unapologetic silliness and the fact that they actually say the word meme over and over. I mean, for God's sake, Armstrong says make America great again, so no wonder no one took this guy seriously. And finally, some of you said it's Metal Gear Acid 2. Despite the fact I said there's no way in hell I'm going to play this game after what a shit show the first one was. Though some of you claimed Acid 2 is slightly better, I find that hard to believe because the problem with Acid is not that the gameplay doesn't work, it's that the game doesn't work. The whole shit shouldn't even exist. Literally no Nobody asked for this. It's like if you go to a whorehouse and ask for a beautiful woman and they give you an ugly dog. What the hell are you supposed to do with an ugly dog? And on that note, it's time to stop wasting time. You came here to see the worst Metal Gear game ever and by golly I'm gonna show it to you and we can all have a good laugh. The number one worst Metal Gear of all time is... Metal Gear on MS-DOS. I bet you weren't expecting that. You know, I know people who stubbornly say, I will never play Metal Gear until they release all the games on PC. Well, be careful what you wish for. Look and be amazed. You thought the NES one was bad? Well, imagine if the NES one was ported to a different system by a small team who have no idea what they're doing or how a Metal Gear game works. And then you have the unholiest of shits that have ever been and excreted from the bowels of Konami. Look at them beautiful CGA graphics, y'all. Looks like clown cum. You know if you squeeze a clown's dick, it'll squeak? So you're probably wondering, where's the sound? Where's the music? Well, I'll tell you, there's no fucking music. As for sound, well, there's one sound. And I bet you're dying to know if this guy still feels asleep or not. Well, instead of I feel asleep, it's he fell asleep. So they kind of tried to fix it, but not really. And the game just gets better from there. There's no audio cues for when the soldiers have spotted you. They just suddenly start running at you and draining your life extremely fast by running into you. What, they couldn't code the soldiers to shoot at you? Was that more than the MS-DOS could handle? I mean, to be fair, all the bullshit that's in the NES version is still here. The truck full of bad guys, the pit that kills you, the stupid dog. Stupid dog! You can't punch anybody because you have to have pixel per perfect accuracy or else they'll touch you. And when they do, they drain every bit of the life force out of you. Just like my parents. Something tells me the guards aren't coded really well because sometimes they'll be looking straight at me and not try to kill me. Genome soldiers, they ain't. Also, thanks to the CGA graphics, we got this pink and blue shit, but I love the idea of a guard that wears bright blue pants and a pink helmet. Fucking vaporwave guard. And did you notice the trucks have four sets of wheels? What's up with that? 
and the Jeep is literally the size of the truck. In fact, Snake is as tall as the truck. Absolutely nothing makes sense here. And it always tickled me on the NES version how you go in this little bitty truck and it's huge inside. I know, I won't shut up about the trucks, but it amazes me. Watch when I go outside. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the truck. I can't get out of here. Oh, there we go. This game is about as stable as my bank account. Look here, this guy saw me even though he was looking to the right. If I could say one thing about this game, at least the alerts don't continue when you leave the screen. You reckon Big Boss has got enough sky blue tanks? That's so he can camouflage them into the sky? Look, there's that fucked up punching I was talking about. You can't punch these people. Oh, and you turn into a skeleton when you die. Okay. Fox die used to be a little bit more potent. I mean, what do you want me to say? It's a shittier version of a shitty game. And for those of you who say survive is still worse than this, I have this to say. Survive is at least a game that can be played and finished and isn't incredibly broken and so outdated even in its time that it's baffling that it even exists. Exists. It's a terrible game, but it's a terrible game that can be played. It won't be fun, it will suck, but it technically can be played to completion. This game is so bad, I don't think it's even possible to beat it or even make any real progress. Add that it barely runs right and always acts like it's gonna glitch or crash at any minute, and you have what I believe is the worst Metal Gear game ever made. This is the top of the shit pile. And with that, the top five worst Metal Gear game countdown is over. I lost my sanity. I lost a bunch of patrons. I am very tired and very cranky. And I can safely say I am not cut out for making a video a week. I'll be going back to just two videos a month as usual. But first, I'm going to take a little break from videos for a short while. Any of you Patreon guys that left because the list suck and was putting your bank accounts in the red, y'all can come back if you want to. I don't plan to do this again. This was rough on me. If you did enjoy the countdown, well, I appreciate you hanging in there. You are truly patient, forgiving people. And with that, I'm out of here. Stuart K. Riley is going to bed. And when I wake up, I don't know. I haven't thought that far yet. I might take a shower if I can get my water hose untangled. Maybe get in my new Camaro and scare the student drivers by blowing the horn at them. I'll find something to do. You do the same. I'm gone. Bye.